How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and this video is a tutorial on the legendary Zebra LP2844. We're going to install it on a Macintosh computer. It does get along with Apple okay. We're, you're going to learn all about that in this video. But before we get into it, if you wanted to see the, the award-winning review that I did on this printer, I will put a link to that in the corner and also in the description. For you even install your printer, you're going to want to make sure that you calibrate it. And the way that you calibrate your printer is you turn it off completely, you plug it in, you turn it off, you hold that front button down, and then you turn the printer on, it should start blinking red, and then you release that button, it will start putting out paper slowly as it's calibrating. The sensors in there are seeing where the paper stops or where the labels start and where the labels stop. So it's gonna print out a couple labels, I think it's four, three blanks, and then at the end you're going to see uh, there's going to be a couple pieces of text at the end. So once your printer is calibrated, you're going to also want to make sure that you plug it into your computer. I'm assuming you guys know how to how to plug the USB in like that. And then on my Mac computer, specifically, I have to use a USB to USB-C converter, and then it goes into my Mac. Okay, and we are on the computer. You're going to go to the little finder up here, and you're going to type in printer and scanners. Right here you're going to go plus sign and the Zebra LP2844 should pop up on USB. You're going to click it, choose a driver, select software, and then you're going to type in Zebra. Oops, Zebra. And you're going to tick you're going to pick the Zebra EPL2 label printer driver, hit add, setting up. There you go. You have your Zebra LP2844 Four, we're going to print a test label. You always want to make sure that your printing document is in a four by six label format. Here on Pirate Ship, they have a bunch of different options. On eBay, you have to change the settings manually as well. Same with Poshmark. It should be pretty easy and straightforward once you get that set up. These are amazing printers. They're, they can be found and had on the cheap. They use non-proprietary labels. They're really, really durable and solid. I'm over here on Pirate Ship with a test label, I'm going to hit print. We're going to choose four by six and you're going to hit print. There is our label. If you look right there at the barcode, there is a little bit of fuzziness. This is a 203 DPI printer. It's the minimum requirements needed for shipping postage and the barcode will still scan. It will look a little bit fuzzy on a Mac just because it's kind of like a driver workaround. We've had no issues with these labels scanning at the post office. If you have any questions about the Zebra LP2844, make sure to leave them in the comments section. This, Because Zebra no longer supports this printer, most of your customer service or, or uh, troubleshooting is going to be through Google or YouTube. So if you have any questions or you want to see anything done with it, please let me know in the comments section, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.